People who worked in restaurants, what was the worst customer that you had to deal with? I worked in Domino's. I had a guy throw a handful of pennies at me while laughing. The 30 odd cents was my tip. He was mad when I turned around and walked away without picking any of them up. His exact words were, oh, my money not good enough for you? Fine. I'll never order Domino's again. I've never had a customer fire themselves like that before. It was great. I used to work in a bar that sold very old booze. A drunk man tried to impress his friends by chugging from a bottle of Mero from the early 60s. He had to pay for the whole thing since his lips touched it and it was useless. Cost him around $800. Barista here had a guy that regularly came in and ordered a complicated drink. He always finished the order by asking for a finger swirl in the drink. If you gave him a confused look he would say well how else am I gonna taste you? He was the worst. Worked in a popular restaurant for a while. We usually have quite a long wait. 30, 40 minutes waits during dinner service and people are told by the hosts about this. There was this lady that got fed up with the wait after 10 minutes. She stormed into the restaurant, stood next to a table of 4 people and literally asked them are you guys done? We've been waiting for a long time now and would like to have the table if you guys are just chatting. Was completely min blown how people are able to not give a duck and pull something like this in public. Our bar was having a private party. A drunk dude walks in and orders a drink. I knew he wasn't with the party, based on his attire, and that he came in every so often. I told him I couldn't get him a drink. He lost his mind, told me to duck off, and then wanted to fight me. On his way out he yelled that we should put up signs. As he walked by the signs on the door saying we were closed for a private event, he came in the next day sober and apologized. After a wedding reception ended at our facility we were cleaning, and I began the cleaning process on our espresso machine. The party was over almost a half hour already. The process takes 12 minutes. People were still there as the party slowly let out, and the father of the bride asks me for an espresso. I told him I could get it to him, as we have a strict policy of always trying to satisfy a guest's needs, but the machine was cleaning, and it would be done in about 10 minutes. He begins ranting about how much he paid for the wedding and stormed to our banquet's manager and told them I refused to make it for him. Manager is at bag and starts ripping me in front of the guy. I show both of them that the machine is just finishing the cleaning process and it was impossible to make it beforehand. I got suspended for two weeks. Bartending in a restaurant a few years ago, there was a private party and one of the guests asked me to plug in his iPhone to listen to a song. No big deal. I did it, and he tipped me $20. He left his phone behind the bar and got wasted. When he was leaving I said, Sir, don't forget about your phone. He threw a beer on me, and told me to leave him the duck alone, and told me get a real job. Guess who got to keep a nice new iPhone? Fast food near a high school. The absolute worst were the moms. Had one who came in weekly and screamed about wrong orders or whatever complaint she could dream up so she could get free food for her entire family. Then you get the loser douches who think harassing employees is funny. The absolute worst customer was the owner of the franchise. Head walking. Test employees and then fire someone for some issue. So minor it was likely just made up. I worked at a bakery for two years. And I had to deal with honestly the most heinous and rude customers ever. I've worked in the food service industry my whole life. And lived in Toronto up until 3 years ago. And I have never dealt with such entitlement. Anyways. One day one of our staff members quit by text message 5 minutes before her shift. And 30 minutes before we were set to open at 8am on a Saturday. We were hard pressed finding someone to cover. So I was alone until a front of house person was able to come in. About an hour later, I had one of the kitchen staff helping me, and all they could do was grab things and bag them as they weren't trained on cash or coffee. So here I'm running around trying to help customers, make coffees, ring people through, and clearly stressed. This Dutch bag man was clearly annoyed that he had to wait, huffing and puffing, and eventually loudly exclaimed duck this, 
I'm not ducking waiting for this shit, and proceeded to throw his bad muffin at my head and storm out. I legit almost chased him down. I was livid. Customers are shit lol. Any table that mentioned the tip at all. Don't worry, we tip well, if you do x. We'll tip big we'll take care of your holding the tip over my head, doesn't get you better service. You get the same everyone else does. They were always pretentious and rude, and never tipped well. I worked at a Vietnamese restaurant back in high school, and I had a Viet family come in to eat. They gave me snobby vibe the entire time, especially after I told them I couldn't speak Vietnamese. They ordered regular pho, but asked for no cilantro. So I rang the order in with no cilantro. It came out with cilantro in it, and I told the kitchen what the family asked. The kitchen told me they couldn't do anything about it. So I told my manager, and they told me to ask the family if they still wanted it. Family said yes, so I brought it out, and they took out the cilantro, and ate the entire thing. At the end of the meal they spoke to the owner, and complained how I got their order completely wrong. Got the food for free, and got their bill taken out of my pay. The owner told me I should remove the cilantro myself. Shitty management. Shitty customer edit. I was not angry that the customer ordered no cilantro. I was upset at the fact that they abused their rights by asking not to pay for their food when they clearly ate everything. Also, it's been a few years haha. My friend works at restaurant. A vlogger was shooting a video, and since it was allowed within the place nobody troubled her. Apparently she wanted one of those, gone sexual, clickbait thumbnails. So she asked my friend, to place his face in her breast, while she squirted ketchup on herself. My friend refused as he was in a relationship, but some other employee agreed to do so. After they shot the thumbnail, she marched in the next day claiming sexual assault. I don't know what happened after that, but it did not turn out good for the liar. This old guy who asked if I was included in the order, I'm 17. I waited tables for a few years in college and the worst table that I ever had was a catholic priest and some guy he was trying to hit up for donations. The whole meal he was very condescending and demanding. After everything was done, I left the check at the table. He ended up walking out stiffing me, not just on the tip, but on the entire check. He even stole the leather check holder thing. I reported this to my manager. A couple weeks later, this same guy comes in with about 20 members of his congregation. My manager told him he wasn't welcome in our restaurant after walking out on his previous tab in front of his whole party. They all ended up leaving to go elsewhere. Best manager I've ever had. Pizza. Ice cream. Sandwich shop in a small rural town. I was on delivery. We had this guy who ordered maybe once a week or so. This customer lived a solid half an hour outside town. None of us knew why the owner ever agreed to deliver to this guy in the first place. Being that far out. But we used to wonder if the owner was being threatened into it. The level of shit the customer would raise if you didn't bring him cheese and peppers for his pizza was absolute madness. There was an incident where a delivery driver found the customer waiting on his porch polishing a shotgun. And the first thing the customer did was loosely point the gun towards the driver and say, Did you bring my cheese and peppers? We fully believe the customer would have shot our driver if the answer had been no. As it was. The driver didn't have as much cheese and peppers as the customer would have liked. Customer called the restaurant. Threw a fit. From then on. When we delivered to this customer, because the owner didn't cut him off backslash backslash we were told to take a bucket of cheese and peppers with us. I'm talking like one of those bulk ice cream buckets you buy at the supermarket. We all kept on in our trucks. But we had to start taking an extra, just for this one customer. I wonder if the guy was even in it for the pizza. I will never forget the time when our customers riot cause we ran out of ketchup. I was there thinking. Is this the peak of my US experience? I had a customer randomly ask if we spoke English as I was talking to them in English. One dude would come into the cafe with his two shitty dogs that would hop on everything and bark at people. Even if there was a line head just raise his hand and yell coffee and just walk past the line and wait for his coffee where head pay cash at the pickup area. One day, after he skipped a particularly long line, I refused to make his coffee. 
he started shouting at me and saying head get me fired. But eventually he went to the end of the line and he had to order his coffee from me. Nobody clapped, but I felt like the people in line were clapping in their hearts. I have two from the same restaurant. First one goes like this. I worked as a busboy and it was getting near closing time. At this point it was around 9.30, we closed at 10, and this table who was probably 20 ish feet away from where I was started trying to say to me that's a free meal. I stopped vacuuming, because I just didn't understand what they were asking me. Supposedly they were under the belief that, if someone was vacuuming before close then they got a free meal. So eventually the owner comes up to me, and asks me how far away I was vacuuming, and I said the same thing. She just told me yeah they're idiots and told me to wait a little bit. They ended up leaving past 10.30 and I don't think they left a tip. They didn't get their free meal. Another shorter story was the time that two giant groups of about 16 people each came in a few weeks later at about 9.45. I think I got home at midnight that night. I worked in a beach town in NJ for a while and New York tourists were the worst. It was the act that they were doing everybody a favor by being there. This was a rich beach town. Not one that relied on tourism at all. In fact, these arrogant tourists probably brought the average income down. And definitely brought the average tips down. And anybody who snapped their fingers. I preferred hey, you, to finger snapping. One time a guy stared at my chest as I explained the specials. And then asked me about the specials. His girlfriend didn't speak to me for the rest of their meal. He gave me a 10% tip. Back in college I was working my first job as a front of house staff for an on campus locally owned burger place. My main job was to call the order numbers out to customers and pass their food off. Easy enough. Well one night we get absolutely slammed with to go orders at close. I'm the only person out at the front and there were two cooks behind me working on the food. A man ordered two burgers. Cool. Well. We're so busy I'm obviously not aware of what number goes with what customer off the top of my head. And I call out a number. A customer takes it and heads out. Turns out the wrong customer grabbed that man's order. He proceeded to yell profanities at me. Calling me a ducking idiot. Demanding his food be free. And that he gets free fries. All in front of other customers. I started crying. It held up everyone else's food in the process. The manager has to tell him to duck off and remakes his food. It was just one giant shit show. Had some racist lady ask my Guatemalan co-worker a nonsensical question. Think something along the lines of which steaks are vegan. About the menu several times. And when given the answer would repeat the question at louder and louder increments. Until she screamed at me. Open kitchen. I'm white. Excuse me sir. Sir. Insert dumb question she didn't like it. When I gave her the same answer. Because her question made no sense. She just assumed my co-worker couldn't understand. Because she had an accent. In reality. This co-worker. While she has an accent. Speaks Spanish. English and Arabic which to my estimation. Is 200% more languages than this asshole speaks. Hey. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.